Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs? This is the T-95, the Tier 9 American Tank Destroyer. It's located on the South Eastbourne of Far East and it's under the command of Andromeda. And we've got no engine noise, so I'm afraid we have to run that back to get the engine noises back again. Yes, Wargaming just won't fix their programs. Okay, that's better. The engines should start this time and we'll hear something. Sounds like it, yep. Okay, Tier 9 American Tank Destroyer has a 155mm gun capable of 750 Alpha, penetrating 276mm with standard ammo and with a premium ammo that goes up to 320. It's the Doom Turtle, yep. Now this is a new map. Uh, which is called Far East, but in actual fact it should be called Airfield. But since there is already uh, a, a map in the game with the name Airfield, this one should probably be called, um, well, Air Base rather than Airfield, I think. You can see there's a couple of enemies up ahead. Now as you can see there's a huge landing strip that runs from one end of the map to the other. In fact, there's a taxiway as well, a couple of hangars, and a bit of a town as well, off to the uh, east, the west side of the map. It's um, quite an interesting map, really. Uh, very new, and it's part of the recon game, but um, that was temporarily suspended because, of course, uh, there was a problem with the program. At least that's what I was told. Okay, you can see the enemy can see him, and numerous enemies are firing in on him. <laughs> He's getting hit from just about every direction. He's blocked 2,660 hit points of damage so far, and one hit actually did penetrate. And that was the hit that came from the AMX 50B, and he was using standard AP. Now, using these um, silos and bunkers, he could actually protect himself from one side. You've got a Yak Tiger up ahead, but uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Andromeda's going to just push it on the enemy, and he's been tracked again by that Air Mix 50 b He's obviously reloaded his mag, and he got another hit in the tracks. But of course, this thing has four sets of tracks, so not a problem. Okay, he's gone on top of a building, <laughs> and he's got the Yak Tiger. Yeah, one shot, that's all he needs. But he's taken another penetration this time from the 50TP. Waiting for the reload to go in. Standard reload, 17 seconds, he's got 14.84. Taking another round in the tracks, this time from a CDA 105. A cannon de so. And yep, those enemies are still up ahead. Nope, that one missed. It went flying right over the top of the 50TP. He probably should have held on to that shot and waited. We're doing so well so far though, because this there's, um, there's, uh, we're winning 3-0, and of course Andromeda has one of those skills. And he just takes out the T-54 lightweight, who wasn't watching what he was doing. Trying to go up a bank, and uh, yeah, presented the roof of his uh, tank to us, which made it much easier to pen him. Okay, he's reloaded, and the AMX 50B is up there. Uh, oh, that was cheeky. A snapshot at distance, but uh, just missed him. And there's the 50TP, the one, I think that's the one that hit him. It's the one who penned him earlier. Yeah, I think he's decided to hold this position because the enemy behind him has actually been mostly defeated. So it's just really these guys in this corner who actually... Uh, Firing rounds in. Ah, oh, there he is. 50 TP. Oh, not penetrated. How could that possibly happen with a 155 millimeter round? Yeah, I'm afraid it does happen. That is a Polish tank, so it doesn't have the Russian cloak of invisibility or Russian special armor. He tracked him. Unfortunately, he's going to fix that track before we get loaded. At least I think so. He did, but let's see if he can get the point. 
No, again, not penetrated the screen. I don't know how we managed to avoid that, but now we've got the Barask in the neighbourhood. There's a tunnel that runs underneath the airfield. And, uh, yeah, the Barask has been killed. There's a Renegade off in the distance. And he's auto-aimed onto the target. And, no, we lost that one. So we've still got enemy up in the uh, northeast corner of the map. And that's where Andromeda's headed. And there's the 50 TP. Oh, didn't penetrate again, but he didn't fully dial in before he snapped that one in. He's got to wait for the reload. Oh, we auto-aimed on, which meant, obviously, that the moment the uh, lock was lost. Oh, but he got a blind kill. And it's 14-0 at the moment. There's only that 50 TP up there who's still in the game. Amazing. And there's the 50 TPs running into the northeast corner as far as he can go, but there's nowhere else to go. And he's got a Lanson and an LTTP holding him in place. RT firing in. I think this could be a 15 nil d d victory. Would be amazing if it is on a new map. And we're about to cap out, and they have capped out, but they killed the last one anyway. So they get the bonus, and it is a 15-0 victory for Andromeda. Here's the end of battle results, and in that game, Andromeda in the T95, he managed to get a shellproof for blocking more damage to the hit points for his own vehicle. A cool headed for surviving 10 or more ricochets on non-penetrating shots in a row from the enemy. And he got a steel wall as well. <laughs> so he got um, an, a battle hero medal for uh, just sitting there and getting shot at. Uh, his win 8 from the game, 744. He did do some damage. He did get three kills, which is helpful because it was a 15-0 victory against the enemy on the Far East map. Let's have a look at the uh, team score. Well, you can see in this um, list that he was actually way down the table. The highest score of the um, high caliber went to the Striv S1 with 3,621 hit points. Didn't get a high caliber, actually. Got a tank sniper. The second highest damage in the game went to the Object 277 with 3,223. And the third highest damage in the game was the T124 on the enemy team with 3,171. We can see that Andromeda did 937 hit points of damage, but it was good damage because he got the highest, the second highest number of kills, rather. Um, the 60 TP got four kills in that game. He got three kills. And then it's the Object 277 and Lanson C who got two kills each. And when it came to base XP... Uh, it was the Object 274A with 1,207. He was probably doing spotting for the others. And at least I think that's where it is. Yes, he did do some spotting. That's right. And then after that, it's the Object 705A with 944 and the 60TP with 903. We can see that Andromeda was uh, quite a way down the table with 616. But let's have a look at detail and see what he did. 10 shots fired, 6 direct hits, 3 penetrations. Yes, a dreadful penetration. Even on the, the those enemy tanks with fairly thin armor, he should have gone straight through them, but no, nope, they bounced off. No splashes as well. Damage of 937 hit points, all of it done at long range. 15 hits received from the enemy, only 2 of them penetrated, 13 non-penetrations, and 4,200 hit points of damage blocked by armor. He spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged four of the enemy, killed three, and earned 19,487 credits from the game. After repair, ammunition resupply, he actually made a loss for the game of 14,084 credits. 924 XP, no multipliers, that's all the experience points he took away. But, yeah, you can't take away the fact that it was a 15-0 victory in 5 minutes 55. Now, it's not the fastest 15 little we've ever recorded on this channel because we've had much faster ones with RT in. Uh, but this one was still pretty good considering this is a new map which hasn't been out that long. In fact, very few people have actually played games on it. But Wargaming pulled it because, of course, the, uh, uh, the new 
um, uh, the new game mode was um, uh, recon was actually pulled for some error or something that uh, meant that wargaming had to take it out because it just didn't work or that they were having problems with but uh, still all the same it was nice to see the new map um, i think we've only seen it once in a video by quickie baby maybe a few times or by some of the other um, uh, content creators but uh, thanks very much to andromeda for showing us this battle with the t95 and congratulations on a 15 nil if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm <laughs> and thank you for watching